Dr. Maria Rothenberger from the Miracles Happen Fertility Center at drmariarothenberger.com. This is week 44 of the 2020 Compassion Series that I have been doing all year long using this book, A Year of Living with More Compassion, which I highly recommend that you pick up. I have worn it down like crazy, pages falling out and everything. This quote for, the, for week 44 is by Rumi, who was a 13th century Sufi poet. I've talked about him in this series before. And the theme this week is about being with suffering because damn, isn't the world suffering right now? Okay, the quote says, don't turn away. Keep your gaze on the bandaged place. That's where the light enters you. How beautiful and poetic is that? Right, we tend to think of broken places as things that need to be covered up and stitched and you know sealed, closed. But this quote is all about allowing those wounds to be how they are and you be with them because that's how the light gets in. Isn't that beautiful? The way to emotional freedom is through being with and embracing that which is painful or difficult in us rather than trying to fix, push away, or run from it. I hear this a lot from people, especially in the fertility world, who say, I'm trying to think positive, I'm trying to think positive, positive, positive thoughts all the time, but these negative thoughts keep coming in and, I, and I'm scared and blah, 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 but I'm trying to be positive. And I say, let the negative thoughts be there. Let them be there. Eventually they will go away. If you start going down a dark rabbit hole of negative thoughts, okay, so that's not helping anybody. But let the negative thoughts pop in, have a cup of tea with them, invite them in, and then ask them to be on their way because you are actually safe right now. Negative thoughts come in because they're trying to keep you safe, that's all. And when you've been through a traumatic experience, they happen more frequently. Your brain is constantly scanning the environment to see things for safety, right? So that's where negative thoughts come in. Think about this, think about this, what if this, what if that? That is just your brain trying to keep you safe. It's doing its job. However, it's on overdrive because of what you've been through. So invite those negative thoughts in, be with them, and eventually you'll be able to gently ask them to go, reminding, thanking them for their job, doing their job, trying to keep you safe, and reminding them that you actually are safe right now. That's okay. So that's, a, I suppose, a bonus practice because the compassion practice as written in this week's book, uh, in the book for this week is, when you, when you experience an uncomfortable feeling, try this experiment for a single minute. Breathing in, I feel this feeling. Breathing out, I let it be. You can shorten this to just saying feel on the in-breath and let be on the out-breath. The instructions are simple, but the practice may not always be. Be kind and gentle with yourself through this process. So that's an actual tool that you can use for the first half of what I was just saying before about how you invite those difficult feelings in. You just feel them. You sit with them, you feel them. Sometimes that looks like crying or throwing shit, it doesn't matter. Whatever it looks like, feel them. And when you are breathing, aware of your breath that, that invites some groundedness, you feel much more grounded. If you can get outside and lay on the ground, amazing. You'll actually absorb the electromagnetic field of the earth, which is very healing. Just even putting, putting your bare feet on the earth is really useful. Breathing in, I feel this feeling. Breathing out, I let it be. You let the feelings hang out. After a while, you can ask them to leave. Thank you for trying to keep me safe. I am safe. I don't need you right now. I'm going to move on and then you're able to carry on with your day. So do not try to have positive mind all the time. Just try to be positive. Not necessary. Just feel what you're feeling. I will see you next week 
in week 45 of this compassion series. Mm -hmm.